So if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It does make a big difference and I'm on for trying to try and chase those numbers a little bit, get up to the 100 subscribers by year end. That'd be a massive achievement for me. Um, I did find out that uh, in terms of minutes viewed, the channel went over 10,000 last night, which is, that's a really, cool milestone to hit before the end of the year seeing as the channel only started in September so um, yeah if you're enjoying what you're seeing you want to see this journey through with me then please um, please subscribe um, and hit the little bell if you want that will tell you when new videos are out since I jacked my hand um, doing that hundred kilogram squat clean it's been about seven weeks seven weeks since I've touched a barbell at all here in England uh, we've had been in lockdown because of the pandemic uh, for the second time which meant that uh, all the gyms were closed and they only opened up like a week or two ago. I cut my cast off last week, joined in on a class on Monday called Redline, uh, which consisted of, uh, for five cycles, an AMRAP of two minutes of 15 burpees and as many uh, dumbbell thrusters as you could do, uh, and then rest two minutes between each cycle. into five cycles, again, AMRAP of two minutes of 30 sit-ups, uh, and then max calories on any machine. Elise and I had the ski erg, uh, I won't lie, it left me looking like this. It was an absolute engine builder, it really was. Uh, sometimes you've got to go through those ones, especially, um, you know, during lockdown, whilst I had the cast on, I wasn't really doing much, I mean, did the marathon, but. Other than that, I kind of took it easy. Um, so yeah, it left me on the floor, that one. Last night, Wednesday, was the first time I actually took, put my hands on to a barbell and it felt amazing. we had was 30 20 10 of hang power cleans at 60 kilograms and burpees so 30 hang power cleans 30 burpees and then 10 pull-ups then 20 hang power cleans 20 burpees 10 pull-ups and then 10 10 10 we had a 15 minute time cap it took me 15 minutes I'm not gonna lie it was horrendous it was it was yeah it wasn't much fun at all um, uh, kind of towards the end was like, I think I got to the pull-ups by the 15 minutes and man, I used to be able to cycle 60 really fast but my, my, my speed, my fitness and my strength have definitely had a bit of a knock. For me, it kind of got in my head a little bit and I was a little bit disappointed in myself. Um, I think I was the only one throughout the whole day who didn't reach the 15 minute. And then on the way home, I was thinking, you know what? I haven't touched the barbell for seven weeks. It's okay. And it felt great. It felt so good. Um, when I was in there practicing and warming up, I kind of had to remind myself, like positionally, how to set up, how to, how to clean, how to rack, you know, all those cues that you almost forget if you don't do them all the time but man it felt it felt really good felt really good all right aggressive let's have a look at what's going on in the world Rogue Fitness basically put out this challenge where it was to see how fast you could do 50 calories on the Echo Bike, aka the Bastard Bike, aka the Bike of Death, aka Hell Bike, aka the Bitch. I've made up all of those AKAs. However, there was a video of some dude at Fitness Mayhem bashing out uh, 50 and 50 seconds. That's absolutely, I mean, that is insane. That is a fast, that's going some, man. However, the results came out today. Barry O'Neill in 18 seconds. Just, just wait a second, 18 seconds. I don't even know how that's possible. 
Where is the video of this? I hope they release it because, well, they should release it because that is, that's insane. Uh, on the female side, Taylor Williamson got one minute and eight. Again, impressive scores, really impressive scores. In other news, of course, Tia Claire Toomey, has decided that she's going to have a go at bobsleigh. Now, of course, we've seen James Newbury. Um, he's part of the Australian bobsleigh team. And I think Tia's thinking, seriously thinking of having a go, um, which is interesting because a couple of weeks ago, her and Matt uh, Fraser were, were kind of teasing to see whether or not they were going to go teams next year. Um, but it could be in the not so distant future that, that Tia is going to make a big move and, and go over to the bobsleigh team. That could be interesting. That'd be great to see CrossFit athletes in athletes in um in other kind of sports, you know, to see how they get on, see how those and see how it transfers. Um, also as well, why why isn't CrossFit? Uh, I suppose Olympic lifting. It'd be cool for CrossFit to ha to be in the Olympics as a kind of you know to have two or three tests: a fitness one, a gymnastics one, a weightlifting one. The basics of CrossFit, but to put them together for the Olympics. I know you've got your Olympic lifting. I know you've got your gymnastics. I know you've got your fitness. I know they're separate um, in the Olympics, but almost bring it together, kind of like a best for all as the Olympics. That would be cool. So the 2021 season has been uh, been dropped. So the 2021 season dates have now been dropped. We can see that registration starts in only a few weeks. Looks like March the 8th through to the 22nd for the Opens. Might have a couple of guys at TrainFit who are gonna jump into that. Um, obviously faces that you will recognize. And also because it's mostly just TrainFit people watching this. So yeah, you're definitely gonna recognize them. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. I can't wait to see what next year brings um, in terms of CrossFit, but it should be good. Gonna leave you, gonna leave you on this vlog with this little snippet of wonderfulness um, from joe.co.uk. Um, this has been sent around our group chat. It's pretty funny. Enjoy it and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. It's Christmas time With households mixing everywhere And at Christmas time Infections spike and we don't care And in our five day window You can spread your viral load So throw your arms around your man At Christmas time Say a prayer Pray for the Northern Ones At Christmas time It's hard when you've lost all of your income There's a world outside Westminster A world of bitterness and fear Where all the pubs are closing Cause they're stuck in tears And the big Ben bell that tolls here Are the clanging chimes of doom While after the night, thank God it's them Instead of you And there'll be less say to Africa This Christmas time Because we've given to all our friends oh. In the governmental pit Like the app that didn't work Do they know it's Covid time at all?